Good morning. The friends and families of Holy Trinity Catholic Parish, thank you for joining us today for the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. The Holy Sacrifice of the Mass can be viewed via live stream on the parish's Facebook page and heard each Sunday on KVFD 1400 at 8.30 a.m. <clears throat> Welcome to this celebration of the Mass of the 33rd Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our opening hymn this morning is hymn number 634. We praise you, O God, hymn number 634. Please rise. We praise you, O God, our Redeemer, Creator, in grateful devotion our tribute we bring we lay it before you we kneel and adore you we bless your holy name glad praises we sing we worship you god of our fathers and mothers through trial and in temper our guide you have been when perils overtake us you never forsake us and with your help O lord our battles we win with voices united our praises we offer and gladly our songs of thanksgiving we raise. You, Lord, are beside us, your strong arm to guide us. To you, our great Redeemer, glory and praise. Good morning. Good morning, Monsignor. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins so to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God, almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the most high Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you. For it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. 
Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Proverbs. When one finds a worthy wife, her value is far beyond pearls. Her husband, entrusting his heart to her, has an unfailing prize. She brings him good and not evil all the days of her life. She obtains wool and flax and works with loving hands. She puts her hands to the distaff, and her fingers ply the spindle. She reaches out her hands to the poor, and extends her arms to the needy. Charming, charm is deceptive, and beauty fleeting. The woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Give her a reward for her labors, and let her works Praise her at the city gates. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed are all who fear the Lord and walk in His ways. By the labor of your hands you shall lead. You will be blessed and prosper. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Your wife like a fruitful vine in the heart of your house. Your children like shoots from an olive around your table. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Indeed, thus shall be blessed the man who fears the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion. May you see Jerusalem prosper all the days of your life. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Concerning times and seasons, brothers and sisters, you have no need for anything to be written to you. For you yourselves know very well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief at night. When people are saying, peace and security, then sudden disaster comes upon them like labor pains upon a pregnant woman, and they will not escape. But you, brothers and sisters, are not in darkness for that day to overtake you like a thief. For all of you are children of the light 
and children of the day. We are not of the night or of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as the rest do, but let us stay alert and sober. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. According to Matthew. Jesus told his disciples this parable. A man going on a journey called his servants and entrusted his possessions to them. To one he gave five talents, to another two, to a third one, to each according to his ability. Then he went away. Immediately, the one who received five talents went and traded with them and made another five. Likewise, the one who received two made another two. But the man who received one went off and dug a hole in the ground and buried his master's money. After a long time, the master of those servants came back and settled accounts with them. The one who had received five talents came forward bringing the additional five. He said, Master, you gave me five talents. See, I have made five more. His master said to him, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Since you were faithful in small matters, I will give you great responsibilities. Come Share your master's joy. Then the one who had received two talents also came forward and said, Master, you gave me two talents. See, I have made two more. His master said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. Since you were faithful in small matters, I will give you great responsibilities. Come, share your master's joy. Then the one who had received one talent came forward and said, Master, I knew you were a demanding person, harvesting where you did not plant and gathering where you did not scatter. So out of fear, I went off and buried your talent in the ground. Here it is back. His master said to him in reply, you wicked, lazy servant. 
So you knew that I harvest where I did not plant and gather where I did not scatter. Should you not then have put my money in the bank so that when I got it back with interest on my return? Now then, take the talent from him and give it to the one with ten. For to whom for to everyone who has, more will be given and will grow rich. But from the one who has not, even what he has shall be taken away. And throw this useless servant into the darkness outside, where there will be weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your prayers each and every day that you give them for the clergy here. They are so much appreciated. And yes, we have young people here. We're all young people. So pray for your parents. Pray for your parents. This gospel this morning is a, is a tough one. And so I was actually thinking about avoiding it. In actuality, I was going to talk about wives. How often do you hear wives talked about from the podium? We never hear Monsignor or Father Ross talk about wives, so I thought, I'm going to talk about wives, especially after that first reading from the book of Proverbs. I thought, I'm going to dispel that old saw that the reason God made Eve last was because he didn't want any help creating the universe. I also thought, you know what, the truth of the matter is that he really saved the best for last. So what prompted me to change was yesterday I had the privilege of talking to the confirmati, all those young people that are going to be confirmed they are on retreat out at Twin Lakes and I had just come back from a silent retreat of four days up at the Jesuit retreat house I I always enjoy that because it's four days of silence and hopefully the Lord speaks to you although I have to confess it is very difficult for me to keep my mouth shut for four days but it happens. My wife is also quite happy when I'm gone for four days. There's some silence around the house for her as well. But in visiting with those young people, especially in light of the gospel today, which for me is very difficult because I always feel sorry for the fellow who got one talent and was so afraid that he was going to do something wrong that he chose to do nothing. Sometimes I think that fellow is you and I. You know these talents are given freely. Five, two, one, given freely. These young people over at Twin Lakes are about to be confirmed and are going to get the seven gifts of the Holy Ghost freely. Seven talents that you and I who have been confirmed already have. And the issue that I presented to them is the issue that confronts me. It's like getting seven dollars from your parents to go to the county fair to get on rides. And if you leave the seven dollars in your pocket, you never get the opportunity to go on the ride. You never get the opportunity to experience the exhilaration, if you will, of the gift of the ride. We don't do that with our gifts. 
And because we don't do it, we miss so many things. You know, during the course of that retreat, I was hoping that the Lord would speak to me and, and give me some help in some areas that I would like His guidance in. Quite frankly, it didn't happen. I just, it was just kind of nothing. And so I got back here doing the thing that I normally do out at the hospital. And it didn't hit me until this week, particularly on Friday and Saturday, when I was with three people that were dying. And none of those people were Catholics. And I spent most of early Saturday morning from about 11 o'clock until oh, 4.30 in the morning. And then on Saturday morning, being at the bedside of people who were just about to leave this world and stand in front of the Lord, And I was thinking to myself, they don't have the gifts that you and I are given. They don't have the sacraments and the attendant things that come with the sacraments to prepare them for this meeting with the Lord. You know, they have other things. They have the unfathomable mercy of God. But you and I have been given these talents that we just, that I just don't use. And we are like the person with the one talent. Many times we don't use them out of fear. And many times we don't use them just out of apathy. That we just don't think about it. When was the last time you thought about the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit? You remember them from being a kid. You know, wisdom, understanding, counsel, fortitude, piety, fear of the Lord. All of those things. I don't think about them that much. We miss it then. We miss it. But we have examples about how even when we miss it, we rearm ourselves and re-energize ourselves to take advantage of what our church has given us. I look around here at the Stations of the Cross. You know those 14 Stations of the Cross? There's three that are identical. Three that are identical. And they're all about failing and falling. Jesus falling three times on the walk to Calvary. But each time he gets up, each single time he gets up, and continues the journey. That's the lesson for us. That's when we aren't taking advantage of our talents, we get up again. Even when we're tired, even when we think, I don't want to be bothered with that, we get up again. And we keep marching. And we have these opportunities every single day. We have the opportunity in the Mass to receive the Lord. We have the opportunity every week to go to confession. We have the opportunity to say thank you. Thursday of this week we're going to have a Thanksgiving Mass at 8 o'clock in the morning. We have the opportunity to say Lord thank you. But will we take advantage of it? For years, I can say, no. 
I was more interested in turkey dinners. I was more interested in watching football games. I was more interested in other things than just getting on my knees and saying to the Lord, thank you for this life. Thank you for this wonderful nation we have. Thank you for the wonderful world that we have. We have that chance Thursday. Join me in taking advantage of just saying thank you to the Lord for this gift of life that we have with each other. God bless you and pray for your parents. We profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, for the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, to him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, being God from heaven. But the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and this kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, proceed from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. <clears throat> in the life of the world to come. Amen. As we await the coming of the Lord, we offer these petitions for our needs and the needs of the world. For the church, may the Lord help us be faithful in our mission to be a light to the nations. Let us pray to the Lord. For leaders of nations, may the Holy Spirit convict them in charity to share their resources with those who need them. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who labor, may God provide them with a fair wage and working conditions that honor their human dignity. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who have gathered here, may the Lord use our diverse talents to bless one another and our community. Let us pray to the Lord. For all those who have died, Father Dennis Minen, Kurt Kester, Jeff Bain, may God's love and mercy surround them and bring them to his everlasting kingdom. And for the intentions of this Mass, Pat Hillman, Phil Beam, Leanne Gillespie and Jim Beam, Ruth and Kenneth Hart and family, Rowena Halligan, let us pray to the Lord. For the prayers we hold silently in our hearts. 
Let us pray to the Lord. God, our Father, we beg you for an increase in religious vocation. Help our people offer their lives in service to you. Let them hear your spirit's invitation, awaken in their hearts a desire to respond with courage, generosity, and joy. Raise up from our families faithful leaders who will serve as deacons, priests, and God's great religious as we entrust your care all who seek to do your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our song of preparation is hymn number 858, Come, You Thankful People, Come, hymn number 858. Come, you thankful people, come, raise the song of harvest home, all is safely gathered in ere the winter storms begin God our maker does provide for our wants to be supplied come to God's own temple come raise the song of harvest home Oh, the world is God's own field, fruit unto his praise to yield, wood and tares together sown, unto joy or sorrow grow. First the blade and then the ear, then the full corn shall appear. Lord of harvest, grant that we, O some great and pure may be. For the Lord our God shall come, and shall take his harvest home. From his field shall in that day all offenses purge away. Giving angels charge at last In the far the tares to cast But the fruitful ears to store In God garner evermore Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering canceled out our sins. By his rising from the dead he has opened the way to eternal life, and by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of host, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Mm -hmm. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with the Francis, our Pope and Walker, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Let's be with you, God's Savior. Let 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. To be near God is my happiness, to place my hope in God the Lord. How good is God to Israel, to those who are pure of heart. As for me, my feet came close to stumbling, my steps had almost slipped. To be near God is my happiness, to place my hope in God the Lord. And so when my heart grew embittered, and I was pierced to the depths of my being. I was stupid and did not understand. I was like a beast in your sight. To be near God is my happiness, to place my hope in God the Lord. As for me, I was always in your presence. You were holding me by my right hand. By your counsel, you would guide me, and then you will lead me to glory. To be near God is my happiness, to place my hope 
in God the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. To be near God is my happiness, to place my hope in God the Lord. Our communion uh, song is hymn number 923, I Receive the Living God. Hymn number 923. I receive the living God, and my heart is full of joy. I receive the living God, and my heart is full of joy. Jesus said, I am the bread sent to you from God most high. Take and eat, and you will live. You need never fear to die. I receive the living God, and my heart is full of joy. I receive the living God, and my heart is full of joy. Jesus says, I am the vine, far from whom no life can grow. If you join yourself to me, a rich harvest you will know. I receive the living God, and my heart is full of joy. I receive the living God, and my heart is full of joy. Jesus said, I am the way and my path is straight and true. Follow me to where I lead, there my Father waits for you. I receive the living God, and my heart is full of joy. I receive the living God, and my heart is full of joy. Jesus said, I am the truth, if you follow close to me, you will know me in your heart, and my word will make you free. I receive the living God, and my heart is full of joy. I receive the living God, and my heart is full of joy. Jesus said, I am the life, raised in triumph from the dead. As one body now remain, members join to me the head. I receive the living God, and my heart is full of joy. I receive the living God, and my heart is full of joy. Jesus said, I am the day, shining brightly through the night. Welcome me, and you will walk by the Spirit's guiding light. I receive the living God, and my heart is full of joy. I receive the living God, and my heart is full of joy.
Let us pray. <clears throat> we have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, <clears throat> that what your Son commanded us to do, in memory of him, may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. There is but one announcement that is just a reminder that, again, as Deacon mentioned during his homily, Thursday's Mass for Thanksgiving Day is at 8 o'clock in the morning here in the church as opposed to the normal 7 o'clock time. Again, 8 o'clock on Thursday morning. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our closing hymn is hymn number 637, Now Think We All Our God, hymn number 637. <clears throat> now think we all our God, with hearts and hands and voices, who wondrous things has done, in whom his world rejoices, who from our mother's arms has blessed us on our way with countless gifts of love, and still is ours today. Oh, may this bounteous God through all our life be near us with ever joyful hearts and blessed peace to cheer us. Preserve us in his grace and guide us in distress and free us from all harm till 